Welcome back. So today when it comes to watchOS, we have this year and half of next year's latest software update. And as you can see right here, this is watchOS 26. We jumped from watchOS 18 to 26 just to go with the year that the software update is going to be used in. And that's the same with iOS as well. I actually updated my iPhone to iOS 26. It's a pretty good update. And now this is the watchOS version. So this for me on my Apple Watch Ultra 1 comes in at 1.5 gigs. Let me quickly update my watch to this new watchOS 26. And then I'm gonna show you some of the new features and changes that I hear. Just like that, my watch is now up to date. You can see when I raise up my wrist, it has this new keypad that has been updated and at the same time when I lower it it has a new hello screen that has some sort of glass animation that takes place let me see if I can get rid of that animation or the keypad so that you can see this animation you can see how it types hello it's in basically different languages it's what it's supposed to depict but for now you can see how it looks for me if I click start then it brings this newly updated keypad the keypad has also been updated on the ios version as well you can see how it looks like this sort of glass uh, reflection light so if i tap my keypad in just like this and now you can see the animation continues to show it doesn't change into different languages which i think is a bug at this point but now if i click continue you can see welcome to watch os it gives you now an option to take a tour or you can skip so for the purposes of this video, we just take a tour and it says learn how to navigate. It's basically going to give you information on your digital crown and stuff. Um, the tour part is basically done and welcome to the Apple Watch. If we go into our homepage right there, you can see the newly updated applications. Most of them look pretty similar to their previous versions, but you can see that instead of just, you know, the basic plain look we have more rich colors that are here that have been added unfortunately we don't have like a three by three or three by four grid view we only have this grid view and we have the list view of course that you see right there and can i actually change the view from this side by pressing and holding no we can't do that so this is the redesign that's here if we go to the control center you can see how it has this unique animation when it loads up i'm not sure if it's sort of a delay or it's a bug but you can see how the icons sort of pop up it's like a motion minimized mode that has been enabled and as i scroll through the different icons you can see how light reflects on them and if i go up you see how that looks if i go down you see basically how that looks if i go into the apple watch application they've actually made some additional changes so you can see this bottom section here it's like a bubble you see when i move this this side here it's like a bubble and when you tap it basically jumps from one watch to another watch and when it comes to this update let me just show you the watch face selector if we go there and then go all the way to the end add a new watch face give it a few seconds then it's gonna load up and tell us what's new these are the new watch faces but most of them are just existing the photos has been slightly improved but when you now go to the watch face selector you can see that instead of having a, like a list view of different watch faces we have like a combination of different batches so health and fitness you can see how that looks photos you can see that you have to watch and now if you go down you have reach or data reach that have a lot of information you have apple watch ultra specific watch faces you have bold astronomy so it's basically just grouped certain watch faces together like this and you can see that and if you want to view all watch faces or go to the old view that we used to have you can also have the ability to do that i believe the new watch faces that they show right here which are just the photos the pride and the unity harmony flux and reflections it's just minor updates i think the photos is one that got the major update with some sort of repositioning that's able to detect and depict pictures with time as the predominant factor depending on what your picture has but 
didn't really receive many watch faces when it comes to this new update one of my favorite things that have been updated is the workouts app so when you open the workouts app you are welcomed by this screen welcome to workouts navi and there's a new navigation quickly that allows you to basically quickly access workout options like goals music workout views and alerts you can basically scroll to other workout types and now you have workout body this is the apple watch ultra one i actually didn't know i was gonna get this new workout body so workout body helps you stay motivated with generative audio built-in voice data from fitness plus trainers and you get encouragement and basic user metrics that are helpful to you and you can see it gives you an option to use workout buddy right there so if i enable workout buddy it just actually it's a bit buggy it just quit and now i have to go back and then it's gonna welcome me again and if i go all the way down and enable workout buddy i have the ability to choose different voices by default it's gonna download voice one but it seems like you only have two voices that you can download for now so let's give it a moment until it finishes downloading voice one way to get your workout started way to get your workout started that's how the two different voices sound. Now, if I click where it says done, you can see the supported workouts at this point in time. So if I go to outdoor walk, it's one of the supported one. You can choose outdoor cycle and uh, outdoor soccer as well. If I continue to go down, you have swim pool, outdoor run. There is indoor walk, track and field, volleyball, dance, others, and indoor run among them. There's actually quite a lot. It seems like it does need a little bit of time before it can give you some metrics or some updates. So it's something that you have to test out and see. But it looks like, you know, the other things that were existing are pretty much the same when it comes to this WatchOS 26. If you do forget what it can do for you, there's actually a menu section here that will give you workouts, views and information like that. And you can reorder that. But other than that, this section seems pretty Pretty much the same another area that received an update is the smart stack that's in, been improved so you know if i just do this you can see how the smart stack looks it does have a little bit of a liquid glass theme to it you can see how the light sort of reflects and the outlines of each stack seems to be more prominent unlike before and you can see the <laughs> decibels right there but now it has improved location and accuracy that will give you information relative to your activities that you usually engaged in so they gave an example where if you go to the gym for example and then this is going to come up right at the top and this i think for me just came up because i was just attempting to do a workout the apple intelligent part of it is just you know in the background with the workout body it doesn't get the new cool animation that we have on the iphone on the iphone you know it's still there you can see how it looks it's not as prominent as before but on the watch os i still have the old siri and i think if i go into the settings you know there is no section for me to basically change this or make it an apple intelligent type of series so that's just an update for you another thing i wanted to highlight are notifications not your typical notifications that you see when you swipe down like this but the notifications that you get for example when you are listening to music or using audio devices such as airpods because now when you're listening to sound and there is a noise in the background that depict something urgent like a fire truck or something along those lines or a siren or a fire alarm then it's going to give you a notification that's more audible than what you are listening to if it's a show if it's a movie it's going to reduce that so that you are able to hear the important sound that's coming in the background if you get a call that you don't need to attend to right away or a notification that not urgent and you just want to put it aside there's a new wrist flick feature that has been enabled way when the call comes in you basically just do this i tried to test it on my apple watch ultra one it didn't work and i looked into the settings it doesn't seem to be present but let me know 
or whether or maybe the apple watch ultra 2 or the series 10 you have that but it's pretty cool you know you can basically just do that and then your notification on your call will go silent and to be disregarded another slight thing that was updated is messages which now supports live translation and the ui has also been updated slightly so you have quick responses that have been added and the general look has been updated just to go hand in hand with apple's theme for this year's updates for the first time on the apple watch we finally have the apple notes application which can now allow you to view and i believe edit some of your notes for me it's a bit buggy it's been loading multiple times i actually closed the app and tried again but it just won't um, let me do anything let me close this again and then try but notes is now available it should allow you to see your notes maybe this is for me this is probably because i have thousands of notes in this app and that's why it just keeps loading in the background but it's good to see that this is here something cool that has been added is the ability for you to actually edit your control center on the apple watch so if you don't want to have the cellular there or the wi-fi there you can actually move things around and you can delete certain things and at the same time if you want to add extras you just have to click on the add now you can add scenes accessories you can add announce and you can see all different controls that you can add right there and i can actually add some tesla control or shortcut which is pretty good and that's pretty much a lot of the things that have been added it's more of a ui change as opposed to a feature change in the apple watch application when you go to the watch face gallery you can see how it's been updated on ios 26 and the main one they show is the photos just to show how it's been updated for me i don't have a lot of pictures that I can demo with but you can see what they do show one of the things that i don't like here is if you go for example into the settings of the apple watch a lot of things that have to do with toggles you can see how they made them look it's almost as if they are stretched it's not a good look and you can see how the liquid transparency glass thing or theme carries over with this section right there but yeah the way that toggle looks is not the best and you can see you know if i enable this it just looks like it's overstretched right there so that's one of the things that i don't like but other than that that's how this watch os update is if you do go to select your watch face it does seem like the watch is a bit overstretched in a way but this is the first beta and with time this will also get better as time goes on you know as more betas come out and as we test more updates now basically that's watch os 26 for you if i go into the settings just to show you how the software update page looks no change in that aspect and you saw the version amount so that's it for me for now i'll see you in the next video